Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday, and my foundation of choice is actually by Neutrogena. Now back in the day when I had acne, wow, I can't believe I'm able to say that, back when I did, <laughs> that's amazing. For those that follow my channel, you know I've been struggling with severe acne for a long time, and finally my skin is clearing up, but I do remember this Neutrogena foundation and I really wanted to love it because it had salicylic acid in it which is really good for clearing acne. So I was like, well, if the ingredients in my acne fighting products are also in my foundation that I wear all day long, that would be amazing. It's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. So I bought the Neutrogena foundation but it did not have enough coverage for me. If I had severe cystic red eight dimensional acne, I did not want just like a nice light layer of foundation. I wanted to cake it on there to hide it. I know caking your face is not good for your skin either, but when you have that much acne, all you care about is coverage, trust me. So I never really liked this one because it didn't give me enough coverage. Now what inspired me to even go to the Neutrogena section is because my skin is nice and clear right now, I wanted to keep it up and now maybe that I'm not looking for as much coverage, I might like the foundation. And while I was browsing through the Neutrogena section, I found this new one, which is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. Hyaluronic acid is something that my esthetician, Mary Scott, does use on my skin so I was like I know that word my skin likes it maybe my skin will like this foundation and it'll help even clear my skin more so I was debating between what foundation to review but I really want to see what this hyaluronic acid is gonna do for my skin the disappointing part about both of these foundations is the horrible shade range. There's only 14 colors in this one, in the skin clearing one, and there's only 10 shades in the Hydro Boost. So much so that in the skin clearing one, I was the darkest shade possible sold at my store, but I did just check online. There's two shades darker than me, giving it a total of 14 different shades, but the Hydro Boost literally only has 10 shades, and I am the second to darkest one. That's crazy. There's a very wide range of shades past me, so this line is not inclusive at all. So that was the first disappointment. So uh, Neutrogena, we're really gonna need you to expand that shade range so everybody could play along. But let's, let me try it out. Let me see if we even need you to expand it because if it doesn't work, we don't, you know, we don't care. This is one fluid ounce and I got this at Target and it was $12.99. But then I went on to the Target website and now it says it's $10.69 and on the Neutrogena website it says it's $16.99. So definitely check around different places, try to get it for as cheap as possible. $17's a little much for a drugstore foundation. I just realized that the skin clearing foundation is claiming to be matte, which is really good, and it's oil free, which is another positive perk. And then the Hydro Boost is actually dewy. I literally run from the word dewy, and now that I'm just reading this now, I'm a little nervous, because that's the last thing I need to be is dewy, but I don't mind like a nice healthy glow, as long as the oil doesn't get out of control. But this Hydro Boost is supposed to boost hydration for dry skin. I do not have dry skin. I should have read this before I put this on my face. The most interesting claim about this foundation is that the website claims that it's better for your skin than wearing no foundation at all. This face makeup with hyaluronic acid quenches skin for 24 hours as a weightless hydration infused formula. It's oil free, non comedogenic, which means it won't clog pores. Ah, so we got some pros and cons here. But now that I know that it's dewy, I'm extremely nervous on how this is going to last on my oily skin. This should be worn for dry skin and I probably should have done the matte one. Let me know if you're interested in me reviewing the skin clearing oil free makeup as well. I'm probably gonna continue to use this for an entire week so I could see what it really does for my skin over time. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so I can give you updates in my Instagram story. But without further ado, let me backtrack and show you exactly how I applied this foundation. All right, let's do this. Grabbing my foundation in the color Coco, which is the second darkest shade available. Let's open this up. Surprisingly, it has a wand. I would think that for a skincare, something that might be related to acne, wouldn't have a brush like this because you're putting it right on your skin 
possibly on your acne and then putting it right back in there kind of contaminating the bottle so I'm surprised that it even has that and not a pump but I'm going to just put it right on my beauty blender instead oh I didn't prime what is this my first time <sighs> one second Starting off on a clean face, I'm going to be grabbing my Neutrogena Shine Control Primer with Rice Protein Complex. This is the first time I've tried this. I wanted to pair it with the foundation. Oh, wow. It smells good. Definitely has a scent. Very white. Where's my mirror? Interesting. It's kind of like flaking off like you know when you need to get your foot exfoliated and your skin starts to rub off it's kind of doing that and I have nothing on my face right now not even moisturizer I don't know about this primer this is so weird this is the weirdest primer I've ever used okay now I'm nice and ghostly do you guys see this that's not okay okay let's fix it with some foundation all right the color works well, definitely a cool undertone. Nothing golden or warm about this one, but it works with my skin tone. Ghostly, not ghostly. I like it. Let me see how this goes if I do apply the actual wand. Let's focus on these dark spots right here. Yeah, see, I might apply it like this, but I wouldn't want to blend my whole face out with this wand. Sticking to the blender. First impression, for it being called a hydrating tint, I was thinking it was going to be more of like a very light type of BB or CC cream, but I do think I got some really good coverage for it not really claiming to be full coverage. The color works out. I don't think it's giving me any type of like glowiness. It's definitely keeping me extremely neutral, very cool undertones. So here's the foundation all on its own, but now I'm going to continue the rest of my face. Much better. So now that my full face is on, I do think I would rather have a little bit more coverage around here. So I don't know how long it's going to last. It's not claiming to last like 24 hours or anything, but we'll see how I look at the end of the day. So it is currently 1.30 p.m. I'm wearing this for as long as possible. Come back at the end of the day and we'll see how well it does on my oily skin. And I'm back. It is now 9.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight hours and your girl's pretty dewy. But at this point, I am going to use my oil absorbing sheet so we can see how it looks once I remove all the oil. Oh, I'm out. Perfect. Found some more because when you're oily, you always have eight backups. And let's do this. <music> Okay, so here is a full sheet of oil. I don't see any transferring actually, so that's good. So in conclusion, I will probably continue to use this foundation just like on a day-to-day, -day, not going anywhere special type of foundation, not when I wanna go out, not when I'm gonna be under lights or cameras or filming, but just a good slap it on and go, especially because it does have good ingredients that are supposed to be better for our skin than wearing nothing apparently. If you have tried either of the Neutrogena foundations, please leave a comment down below and let us know how well it worked for your skin. Did you like the coverage? Did it last a long time? Did you see an improvement in your skin? Do you also have acne and did this help? We all want to know. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you want daily beauty tips, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and watch my Instagram story. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.